Why am I not hungry? Everybody knows what hunger feels like, right? I mean, an empty, rumbling stomach, low energy, sometimes even dizziness or nausea, and then that amazing feeling when you finally dig into your delicious meal. But maybe this isn't really the case for you. Maybe you're finding yourself wondering why you aren't hungry a little too often. In this case, this is the video for you. What is hunger? You feel hunger for a very specific reason, and that reason is to stay alive. When your body is running low on energy, it sends signals of wanting to eat by increasing your hunger, so that's your physiological need, and also your appetite, which is your psychological desire. Your hunger levels are regulated by factors such as communication between the gastrointestinal tract and the central nervous system. And the hormone ghrelin also comes into play. And ghrelin is the hormone that signals hunger. In your brain, the hypothalamus has neurons which work together with certain hormones like ghrelin in order to stimulate your appetite. And when you start eating and your stomach fills up, other hormones like leptin, which is the satiety hormone, come into play to make you stop eating. So your hunger and satiety mechanisms are closely regulated and seem to work pretty well. So why is it that sometimes you just aren't hungry? Here are a few reasons why this could be. You aren't physically hungry. The first and most obvious reason why you may not feel hunger is because you aren't physically hungry. If it's time to eat and you aren't hungry, it's possible that you just have enough energy and that you don't need any more right now. Maybe your breakfast was a bit heavier than usual, maybe you exercise more than normal or maybe you just aren't hungry for no reason. Try to wait a little before tuning into your hunger cues again because maybe you just need to give it a little bit more time for that hunger to develop. Unless you absolutely need to eat uh, at a specific time for practical reasons obviously then don't hesitate to wait a little longer when your body is just telling you that it isn't hungry. However, make sure that you aren't skipping entire meals and going from not hungry to absolutely starving because you're not paying attention to your hunger cues. If the hunger still isn't coming after a while, then it may be for one of the other reasons that I'm going to talk about. You're not in tune with your hunger cues. As children, we were great at listening to our natural hunger and fullness cues. We would eat when we were hungry and we would stop eating when we were full. We were able to regulate our energy intake pretty Pretty easily. But when we started being exposed to diet culture, to outside rules and regulations, to the opinion of other people on our food intake, then it became more and more difficult to be in tune with our hunger cues. We started to eat even when we weren't hungry and we would also not eat on other times where we were hungry. So our body was just like, what's the point in me giving you these hunger and fullness cues that you're just not going to listen to? After a while, you are so used to overlooking these hunger and fullness cues that you're just unable to listen to them and feels like your body is just not sending them anymore. This happens to a lot of people who go on drastic diets. When they decide to start eating more regularly again, their hunger and fullness cues are just gone. For some people, this manifests in the form of extreme hunger, meaning that they are never satisfied regardless of the quantity of food that they eat, they always feel hunger. And there's a video I made about that right here if you're interested or in the description. And for other people, it's the opposite. They just feel like they are never hungry. The best way to get out of this situation is to turn to more mindful and intuitive eating. I talk about intuitive eating all the time. I have a playlist about intuitive eating right here. But in general, intuitive eating is just an evidence-based food approach that aims to free you from rules and regulations. And that helps you regain control over your eating habits to build a healthier relationship with food and to actually listen to your hunger and fullness cues. You have a health condition. Hunger can give us some insight on our health and if your appetite isn't what it usually is, it could be because of an underlying health condition. Certain conditions that cause a lot of continuous pain like migraines, fibromyalgia, or gastrointestinal issues could be a reason why you aren't really 
feeling your hunger cues as usual. Hypothyroidism, kidney or heart disease, and certain cancers could also be a reason for a lack of hunger. You might also be on medication that interferes with your hunger cues. So that could be antibiotics, sleeping pills, morphine, diuretics, they can all interfere with your hunger. And I'm saying this a little late, but if you're interested in the sources for what I'm saying, then they are in my blog post in the description. If you feel like this may be the case for you, then check in with your doctor. You're dealing with strong emotions. Another very common reason for a lack of hunger is that you are dealing with some strong emotions. For instance, I have vivid memories of not being able to eat anything, not feeling any hunger right before really important tests because I was so stressed and stress can totally obliterate hunger. It's also very common not to experience hunger after dealing with something that is very difficult emotionally like a really bad breakup or a being fired from your job or losing someone close to you anything like that because really grief and sadness can totally make you forget about your hunger cues but being really happy and excited can also mess with your hunger cues because it's kind of difficult to focus on hunger when you're just in an extremely joyful moment so basically any extreme emotion can make you not feel hunger which is fine if it's for a brief period of time but if it drags on it's definitely something that you should address you changed your schedule i guess this one is a pretty easy one to figure out but changing your schedule could be the reason why you aren't feeling your normal hunger this could be something as major as traveling to a country that has a totally different time zone than you or as minor as just having breakfast one hour later than usual and so not feeling hungry for lunch as you normally would whatever the reason it's totally normal to need some time to adjust to your new schedule before you start to feel hunger again in the meantime try to honor your practical hunger meaning that you should still have light and balanced meals at the convenient times so you can get back onto your schedule should i eat when i'm not hungry while i often say that you should only eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full there are obviously some exceptions if you are experiencing strong emotions if you have a certain health condition if you're trying to adapt to a new routine or anything like that then and you don't have your hunger cues it's still important to eat for practical reasons to honor your practical hunger under any of these circumstances it can be pretty hard to feel hunger but your body still needs some nourishment and obviously not having food for a while is not that great so you need to eat for practical reasons you can try to eat foods like smoothies or soups or snacks which often go down smoother than a full meal it's also a good idea to have some nutritious quick and easy meal options on hand at all times because we all know that cooking a long elaborate fancy meal when you are not hungry is not the most pleasant thing to do and i have a video that talks about what to eat when nothing sounds good that you can check out here or in the description that gives you a little bit more tips another thing that can happen is that you can be not hungry but still feel like eating and in this case it's not the answer isn't like yes you should or no you shouldn't eating isn't always about physical hunger you can have dessert even if you're not hungry anymore because it's comforting and delicious you can have lunch with your family even if you're not super hungry at that moment because socializing and bonding over food is important you can have a bag of chips in front of the TV because you need to relax after a long and stressful work day but once in a while eating just because you feel like it and not necessarily because you're hungry physically is fine so in short while it's important to listen to your hunger cues and to eat when you're hungry and stop eating when you're full sometimes it just isn't that simple from time to time because of strong emotions because of a health condition because of a schedule change or for any other reason your body may not feel hunger you may not feel hungry but you still need nutrition in this case try to go for a soup a smoothie or snack anything that can get you to sneak in some nutrition without having to go through a full-on meal and if you aren't able to feel hunger because you aren't in tune with your hunger cues then it's important to learn how to eat mindfully and intuitively so that you're able to reconnect with these cues that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one bye